West Virginia comes together after historic floods. Welcome back to Good News Next Week, everybody. I'm James Evan Pilato for MediaMonarchy.com with some of the weekly ways that we are winning, coming to you again from our balcony garden. We've got that story, plus closing some McDonald's, but first, long visits to nature linked to improved mental health. And again, I think that's a great reason why we're out here in the garden with the pets as well. <laughs> People who visit parks are for 30 minutes or more each week are much less likely to have high blood pressure or poor mental health than those who don't, according to new research coming out of Brisbane by Australian and UK environmental sciences. I think sometimes it's an easy thing we can do here in Oregon sometimes, but hopefully you're not taking any of your outdoors for granted. Some of the people who aren't taking their outdoors for granted and taking their community for granted is my home state of West Virginia. As you may have heard, historic floods have devastated 44 out of the 55 counties of West Virginia. The death toll has been lowered to 23 after they found a couple of guys, so hopefully that's a little bit of sign of more good news to come. The National Weather Service warned downpours today, actually June 28th, 2016, as we're coming to you for good news next week, could bring another half inch of rain to Greenbrier, Kanawha, and Nicholas counties, which are all pretty much the neighboring counties of where I'm from in Fayette County. Talked to my parents yesterday. They actually have spent all weekend volunteering and giving out food and supplies, and I think they've even been doing it again today. And I'm over here on the other coast just sort of again feeling kind of helpless looking at another disaster in my home state and, you know, sending my heart out there. I can just wear my, my West Virginia shirt and try and sing its praises. And hopefully all the other people there are kind of coming together and doing good things. I actually saw the police department out of my hometown, Fayetteville Police Department, issued a press release basically saying, if the residents of this area catch you looting, you might not make it to jail. So that's a little bit of how it goes down in West Virginia as there have been very little signs of that. And again, another great way that shows people kind of coming together. Hopefully if you're in the sound of my voice and you have anything close to West Virginia, the best thing to do is just deliver things yourself, food and clothing. Our final story on this week's good news next week is what me and Corbett call a not unmitigated good news story as McDonald's to close over 500 restaurants worldwide just to stay afloat, even as the world's biggest fast food chain moves its headquarters to a $250 million, 608,000 square foot complex in Chicago's West Side in the spring of 2018. McDonald's intends to close about 500 weaker performing company operated locations worldwide in 2016 to bolster profits. Now, we're not going to wake up tomorrow and all the McDonald's are going to be gone or that everybody decided they didn't want to eat that poison anymore. Frankie should stop eating my beans in the background, but that's not poison. That's why she wants it. It's good stuff. <laughs> but much like Johnson & Johnson, they won't let a little bit of bad PR kind of get them down. And the stocks are all soaring, at least for now they are. But the tide has been turning and it's been turning for quite some time. Some of the other headlines we're watching using hashtag good news next week. Activists rescue a thousand dogs from China's controversial dog meat festival. We talked a little bit about that last week on the morning show. Outdoor library season begins in Slovenia. Peace breaking out as Colombia agrees to a peace with the FARC ending 50 years of war. And again, we discussed that on this morning's Morning Monarchy. Back to Brisbane again, their orange sky laundry has been going for two years strong. They are helping the homeless do their laundry. Started by two 20 year olds, I think. Meanwhile, real Brexit catastrophe is that the world's 400 richest lost about $127 billion. However, as we know, and as we've been talking about on the morning show, much like the Battle of Waterloo and Napoleon and the Rothschilds, wealth isn't really destroyed, it is merely transferred. Meanwhile, back here in the States, Phoenix seniors find healing with the power of music, and we talked about West Virginia kids at a blind camp learning music last week on Good News Next Week. Running releases proteins that help boost the brain's ability to remember. And a little bit of good news out of the Supreme Court as they didn't completely rescue the Fourth Amendment, but they did rule warrantless forced blood draws for DUI stops to be unconstitutional. And, Frankie, we can get drunk together now. They invented Pinot Meow, a wine filled with catnip, so now you can get drunk with your cat. 
And we wrap up back here in Portland as a lawfully armed Portland woman shot and killed a home intruder Sunday morning. Of course, no one's talking about it in the news. Meanwhile, the other bit of outlaw justice in Oregon cowboy lassos would be thief in Walmart parking lot. That's how we roll here in Oregon, and that's how my homies roll back east in West Virginia, and I hope that they're doing well, and I hope that you're doing well whenever, wherever you are in the world. And we've been listener-supported media since 2005, and we can only do this with your support. MediaMonarchy.com slash support has PayPal, Patreon, Bitcoin, a post office box. As I say, if you can give a little, I can give a lot. And I've been doing Media Monarchy since 2005. This has been Good News Next Week for the week of June 27th, 2016. I'm James Evan Pilato for MediaMonarchy.com, reminding you, as always, my friends, don't hate the media, become the media. Take care.